Hey guys, M12 LRV RV speaking here. I'm back with another video, and today I'm playing some Minesweeper Flags because I feel like it. It's a game I streamed once or twice. Um, this is something I would like to record as well, and I'm doing it now, but um, this is the first time I'm doing it on my channel of this game. If you want to see more of it, or if you don't, um, the best way to let me know is by leaving a comment, and your feedback is highly appreciated. And thank you for that, and I'm going to get into it. Now, I'm going to talk about the game. Now, I'm doing intermediate because beginner is too easy for me, but um, expert is too hard for me, but intermediate is a challenge. I can get almost all of them. I can get almost done with one and then mess up at the end, or, like, I'll have, like, 50 chances. Like, one of these two tiles has a mine left and all of that stuff. Now, as you can see, I could mark that as a mine, but I'm going to... And I can take it away if I want. And it will still go down. Because it's not going to tell you if there's a mine there or not. But it does tell us at the top corner. That there is a total of 40 mines in the 6x6 six six area. Now by hitting this that means one spot. Which means one of these three areas. Has a mine next to it. Now I don't want to take that chance. But sometimes. If you press down. Uh, the area expands until it runs into a possible area of mines. That one's even more at a risk because it has two. Sometimes using the corners they do that, but I guess uh, there's a lot of mines near the corners. Now if I do that, that was just lucky guess. I could have hit there and hit a mine. It just clears out this area. Now this pretty much just uses process of elimination as there I have found a mine there. Now from here, you can work it out. Now I'm going to zoom in. Okay, I'm at maximum zoom. But you see these ones that are diagonal to this spot? This is the only spot that could have a mine, so this one's clear. Now, if you see this, that there's a one in the corner, but there's nothing on this other side, that means that this one has to have a mine here. Which means that there's a one here, which means this spot is clear, but this has a three, so three connecting to it, but it already has one, possibly has a mine. Now, I don't know about this, but as we uncover spots, we'll find out, but I do know that one of these three spots has a mine because of this twos here. We already got a mine there, but we can't quite knock that out yet. But maybe if we work our way up here, you can do it. You have to work on one area until you can't work on it anymore until it's just guessing at this point with because the numbers can't help you anymore or that you don't have enough and then work in another area and maybe you'll go around the area go up to the other corner then come back and maybe you'll actually find it but right now I have a solid lead on where three mines are I'm gonna mark this as well because it's in the corner and this one can only be right here because all the other places that it's touching have been cleared which means I can go here and say this is clear because there's a one there. But that means in one of these spaces here is another mine because of that too. But I know that because of this, I could hit this clear surroundings, which means that there cannot be one there. Now, I can also say that I can clear surroundings there because that one is still... This number one is still touching that mine. And same thing for this. Now... Be careful, if you do clear surroundings, and you mark that, it will treat it as if that spot has a mine, and it's going to clear the surrounding spots around it. And if you marked it wrong, you'll get game over and you'll blow up, so... <laughs> now I can clear surroundings. And that just uncovers a lot. And now maybe we could work our way from here over if we wanted to. Such as, I'm going to mark that down because I know that's the location of a mine. Now, I do know where the second one is because if you think about it, these three right here are all linked to this one, so it has to be here. Which means I can go like this and that. And I don't have enough marked off, as you can tell by the little animation of something there, that we need to eliminate more areas. Now, these two are only linked by one, and the only other place that we could satisfy those two is by putting one there. Now, I could go there, 
Now that I put that there, I know that um, we can clear some more space. Now, because of this too, another spot that we can put it is there. Now, you gotta be careful because sometimes if you only look at this area, like right around here, not look at what's above it, sometimes you'll be like, oh, oh, there's like two, so it must be there. Without realizing that it's connected by some up there, and that's happened to me. And you'll blow up. So you really want to check the full surroundings of the area before you place it down. Check the numbers and check how many mines are next to it and what you've cleared before you place another marker down to make sure that you're doing this right. Now I can clear this area around here. And now this greatly helps me a lot. Okay, so you see, I am hovered over four. There are three mines connected to that. It says that there's four. The only other place that I could put one's there. So now I have the same situation here where these three are connected to this four, but that four is not connected to that one. So that means I only have one more spot to go. And I guess that's right here. Now, as you can see, I'm connected to three already with this three as there's one there and two here. Now, I can also clear the area because of the two over there means that once you figure out that those two numbers have been satisfied, surrounding numbers have been satisfied, and you're not just putting down the mine marker to let to um to satisfy one number. If it satisfies multiple, you can use sort of use that as a check. So, like, if you can put one down, say, like here, and it would fully satisfy the four, but it doesn't satisfy the two, then it can't go there. So, so that's another thing that you have to watch out for as well. Now I do know where one of them... Now I do know I can put one here because of the one here and it can only be... The only other open space is here. But this too is not connected to any other spot but here. So that means I can put that there. Now this four is linked to this mine here and these three here. Now it needs four in order to be satisfied. And that's the only way I can satisfy this four, and this three, and that four, by putting one there. So that's a mine, and I'm gonna set that one down there. Actually talking about this <laughs> for a video actually seems to make me get more focused, because um, I'll be honest, I probably would have screwed up once or twice before we, um, before I would have made it this far. But um, talking and thinking about it actually helps. Now I'm also I tried to, re and I'll be honest with you, I tried recording this, but I stopped like two minutes in, not because I kept messing up, but because my controller kept turning off. So I just decided to restart over once I put in new batteries, but of course we can eliminate this. And the only way we can satisfy these two is by putting one there. That means that goes there. There's a mine here. Pretty much whenever there's something surrounded like this with numbers, you can be assured that that uh, mine goes there. Now, normally on the corners, you could do this and put one here, right? But if this was a one, we wouldn't be able to because there's already one touching that. Now, because these two, these two twos are linked to that mine there, that means you have to satisfy that, that too. Now, because of this, I could put one here, but it may not be the same in every situation when you're in a corner like that. But it has to be because this two has no other open spots. Maybe if it was down here, it would have three other spots, and that'd be different. But it also satisfies this two and these ones. So now I can go like this, clear surroundings, clear surroundings, clear surroundings. And now we have more numbers to work with probably gonna screw this up somewhere along the point also that timer is counting up if you want to see how long it takes me to do this if you want to try and challenge yourself try and beat me or something I'm not the best at this but um if you want to do that it counts up in seconds not in minutes so it's not like five minutes one like eight seconds well actually it is because 500 seconds is like 10 minutes I, I don't know I can't think of that right now and talk at the same time but um it doesn't go it doesn't go up to 60 and then it raises the third one it's all just numbers it, it's not counting up by minutes like this many minutes this many seconds it's all seconds so 
I'm gonna clear the surroundings there. Totally, okay, two. I guess the only way I can satisfy those twos is put that there, cover that up. Now, I guess the only way I can do that is there. And once you get the hang of this, you'll start to notice patterns which make it easier. But you gotta take note that some patterns may look similar to other ones, but they're not 100% exactly the same. And some people will think, oh, well that's easy, it goes there when it doesn't, and it will cost you the game. And I'm talking out of experience because I'm talking about this as someone who's played this a bunch of times and failed it and learned from my experiences in this game. I can also clear this. I can't clear that, but I do know mine goes here. That's the only way I can satisfy that too now is put that there. But I can't really do anything such as clear surroundings quite yet. Now, I do know that out of these three spots, there has to be... Out of these three spots, there has to be mines. At least two mines in these three spots. Because one, we have to satisfy this three, which means one will go here, but solely based on this three alone, we need two more mines in these three areas to satisfy it. So I know one of the mines has to go here because um, because it's relation to this one, which means it can only one mine has to be in one of these two spots. But it also leaves room that one mine has to go here because this three now has three mines surrounding it. And this one only has two. So that means one could go here or one could go there, but we need more numbers from this side to sort of help it. That also means in order that we're going to have to solve some of these, and sometimes that's sort of difficult, because from this standpoint, we're just purely guessing at this point, because sometimes you have to guess, take some risks, but we have 13 mines left, so maybe we could use that to help us with process of elimination of how many numbers need to satisfy and how many mines you have left. So we can't work on that one anymore, that specific area. But we can come over here and work on this. The only way I can satisfy these twos here, all of them, is by putting that there, put this down, put that down because actually that corner one is satisfied by that. I know we made another corner, so I guess I'm going to have to satisfy those two twos there. This one is yet to be satisfied, but it can only be satisfied by putting one down there because of that one. And this is there. And it sort of plays out. <clears throat> now there has to be one mine in one of these two locations. This is all from pretty much here on out is just guesswork. So there has to be a mine in one of these two locations, I guess. Wait, wait, wait. This... Okay, in order to satisfy this three, it needs two more slots. It needs two more mines. So one definitely has to go here. And these are the only two slots available. So if I'm right, which I should be, this is the only way I can get three mines here. Now this one's satisfied as well because there's a mine there and there's two here. So that sort of double checks each other. And you see, I got a four. Which means there's one more mine somewhere around here, but we don't know what. And that means there's a five here. So that means three are connected to here, so that means we have to have two more mines touching this five. And the only two spots is to go here and here, which satisfies this three and this two. So... And this two is not quite satisfied, but this one is. So is this four, and now it's really getting down to the wire here. So I have three right here, or touching this five, we need two more. So I'm going to put that one there and there. That satisfies this two, but it also satisfies this two and this one, so hopefully... That should be a three. Okay, so we've cleared pretty much everything here. 
and now we just need to go focus on guesswork at this spot. Hmm. Let me think. One mine has to go in one of these two spots. That's pretty much 50-50, but I want to see if we can work on something here. Now, I could take a guess if I wanted to. And hope that there's not a mine there. But I guess that's the only way we could satisfy those three... Those three ones are satisfied by putting one there. Which is also a guess. But if by putting that there, I would also satisfy that too. So I think there's more of a chance that a, that a mine's going to be here than here. But let's hope I'm right. Okay, I am. <laughs> okay, there. Okay, so I can clear out lots of this area. And oh my god, this, this has helped me out quite a lot. Now, I need one to satisfy this three, but I guess that's the only spot that this can go in. Now, the only stuff we really have to go on is that there's two here. There are two mines. That can be... S oh, my God. There is. Okay. So, I know what we have to do. So... This four needs to be satisfied, but it's only being satisfied by two mines, and it needs two more. We could put two here, but that won't work, because there's a one here, and it would be touching a mine here and a mine here. There are two mines left. By process of elimination, we know a mine is there at that spot exactly. Which means, there can be a mine here or here, and this is a 50-50 guess. So I'm either going to get this right, or I'm going to completely bone myself and screw everything up. And I don't know what to do. Oh my god. This is taking over 900 seconds to complete. Oh my god. Let me see. I don't know. What do I want to do? No! Yes! Success! Alright! Minefield cleared. Um, anyway guys, if you enjoyed watching this video, leaving any comments, questions, or feedback in the comment section down below, especially on what, if you want me to do more of this, because this is new new game on uh, to well it's a game new to my channel this game actually came out in 2008 but if, if if you want to see more of this let me know um i'll make more videos of it if you don't just let me know as well um i'll do something else instead um and i will see you guys later in another video bye bye